Okay. So these are my corks. I've already removed a bunch and I've replaced some of the cocks with sir mitts. And uh, when I got these, they're Nick's boots. They're pretty nice. I've actually had these for a few years. Had them resold and I told them to leave a couple of screws in here and they uh, they don't leave any. So I had to get these they're called rock grabbers to make up the space. Because sending them back took, I don't know, nine months. So it's already pretty upset. And then they have the uh, the Phillips caulks in here, the Phillips tool steel. I don't know if you can still read that on that one. Come on, focus. There you go. Anyhow, um, that's better. They put the Phillips tool steel ones in here. And those are kind of garbage because they're two pieces. And you notice that happens. See how the paint don't line up no more? And then this is still stuck in there. So you have to figure out how to get those loose. And it takes a while. Now couple that with them being just kind of crappily made, the threads strip out and you end up losing caulks while you're walking. So that one fell out. It's been replaced. This one, you can see, see they're all domed except for that one, it's because that one had to be smashed down so it could catch just one or two threads and still fill the hole and not ruin the rest of the damn boot. Most of that happened within a month of getting these back. So every hole you see open right now and every hole that's been replaced is a cork that fell out. And not because they were loose. They're just stripped. These Phillips, they're just junk. You see how it's two pieces? I don't know whose idea that was. It, I mean, it makes sense. It's cheap manufacturing. But the Champs, they're not the greatest either. But they're all one piece. It's formed that way. Anyhow. So I ran for the day. So I got to spend the rest of the evening grinding flats on these guys so I can pull them out. Y'all have a good day. And now we have a two-parter. So this is the other shoe. And I haven't put any new cocks in here. So these are all the ones that need to be ground and hopefully come out. And that one's not going to. The, uh, not inside the shoe is already stripped. Not hanging on to the shoe. And oddly enough, the one I showed you guys earlier, same deal. This just spins and nothing, nothing happens. Behind these, there's a nut plate that is glued onto the sole. And uh, it's not supposed to spin, but they do. So, yeah. I'm not impressed. That's a whole lot of work. And uh, these just, they just spin. And then they fall off and you get like this little ringy thing. And they're knurled. The, uh, the spike itself, you can't really see it on there, but it's knurled. And that's supposed to catch the washer. That's just a shitty design. And uh, Nick's boots should know better. Yeah, this is not unheard of knowledge in the logging world. The Phillips tool steel ones are garbage. And they insist on using them at Nick's. So, yeah. Couple that with like the thread tolerances on these things being about as crappy as you can get they just strip out and they take out the the sole nut with them junk anyhow y'all have a good day